Hello everyone and welcome to a little tutorial on how to build an improved item elevator once again for the snapshots and in this case we are using a hopper and a dropper to get an yeah, even simplified version uh, of the item elevator. Compared to the standard design this design is well it uh, uses less redstone is a little bit more compact also is maybe uh, just looks a little bit better and it is definitely fail proof. The only downside is that it can't handle that many items at once. It can only handle at maximum 3 items per second, so the maximum number of items which are incoming in the hopper. And that doesn't mean you to, that you can't throw in stacks of items, but if you have a constant stream of items, which is more, you will over time fill up the hopper and they will just be all slots filled and it won't be able to process them as fast. But <clears throat> yeah, for other applications this might be really, really, really suitable. And um, there is also one other thing to mention. If you throw in less than 40 items in the beginning, they will stay into the dropper until uh, you throw in more items. But um, this is just because I try to make it fail proof. I've seen other people sending me PMs with uh, designs with dropper item elevators with pretty much the same principle, but um, they had the issue that yeah some of the items were leaking out because the pistons were, were acting in the wrong moment you actually need a little bit of circuit here to get it really fail proof and that's what it, this does here so let me quickly demonstrate this i'm just uh, throwing in let's say three stacks of items and what happens is the hopper fills up uh, processes the item processes the items into the dropper here and yeah the dropper has just the advantage that you can also put in arrows and uh, water bottles and stuff and yeah, once it reaches uh, 41 items, it starts to dispense them all till it hit reaches zero again. And uh, once it did this, um, yeah, the items going are going to be lifted up, and it actually will uh, empty and dispense all items. It's uh, just if you uh, once only throw in less than 40 items, it won't process them. So let's just wait until it, this is done. So it fills up again. You can see. And now it starts um, throwing them out again. The principle behind this is that I'm actually triggering the dispenser when the signal strength is at 2, and ten, then I wait till it's back at 0, and in this moment when it's at 0, I'm uh, lifting up the piston for a moment, and uh, then it uh, will be lifted up as long uh, till the signal strength is back at 2. And the advantage of this system is that it's completely failproof, although you need to wait for a little while till it reaches signal strength 2, and that's also why less than 40 items won't get processed. Because if I just would directly uh, trigger the dispenser when it reaches signal strength 1, there is a problem. You need lots of additional wiring to control this properly, otherwise, you will get uh, items spinning out from time to time. Because just imagine if this would directly trigger throwing the items. Then it would directly, since there's only signal strength one, means only one item in it or something, directly go back to zero. So it would uh, pretty much directly trigger this piston here and it li would lift up. But uh, then again, when it's back at zero, it would also fire in items and that's while the piston is being lifted. And if you fire in any items which are moving or when the block is already here, they will just f fly out everywhere. I just demonstrate this if I put in anything into this. Yeah. Uh, random shit will happen. So uh, that doesn't work. You'll have to make sure, and so I'm just uh, putting this back into the default state, um, that it only triggers at signal strength 2, and that's, uh, that's uh, why I invented the system here. So um, it increases the signal strength. Um, when there are more items in it, so they trigger it, but this memory cell just says that it still, should still dispense items and it will just uh, go back to the default state when it's completely empty. Yeah, and then lift and then it has to wait. So this is, uh, this just makes sure that it is fail proof. Yeah, let's just build it up and stop rambling here. And it's actually really, really simple. So uh, we start with the piston. So I'm just putting it into the ground because it makes the building process a little bit simpler. Uh, then we need two repeaters, and you can hear the machine in the background. 
one, two, three blocks here. The dropper in the middle. Some you don't need to use glass blocks, you can actually use any block you want. Just make sure that you fill in every block beside the block directly in front of the hopper and also at the top you should leave a ring of blocks so that items can collect in the middle. Um, then, yeah, we just need two uh, redstone wire here. Then we just need two normal pistons, no sticky ones, that's important. Um, just like this and the last step is adding this torch here and the hopper and now you can just fill in the items into the hopper either with a water stream or just by uh, throwing anything into it and it will um, start filling up the dispenser and once it reaches uh, 41 it will start dispensing out items when it's back at zero it will lift them up and so the process can repeat so let's take a look at this And since the, uh, the hopper is still filling in items while the dispenser is dispensing stuff, it's going to be dispensing until the hopper is empty, so we will lift up the complete stack, which is very nice. Yeah, and it works like a charm. That's the complete uh, uh, new um, item elevator. If you have any other concepts of this which may actually need less redstone, uh, you can post this as a video response, but please make sure that they actually are really fail-proof. So do a mass test with tons of items, and I proved this system a lot, it does really work well. But, uh, I, as I said, I've s got some other responses with uh, systems which might look simpler, but which didn't uh, work well, really fail-proof. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time!